You guys are late. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't open yet. <laughs> Save money, condensed cars, guys. <laughs> Got some goodies to bring in. This is Tetris right here. Right, this back is done. See, I got the beer back here. The real important stuff to bring in. So a dollar each. So oh, that's true. You can sling it. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. Okay. I registered online already. It's all good. Pull that out by seven. Follow that trailer all the way forward. All right. Come in, buddy. Okay. What's up, Sky? Hey. So, so, so on stuff, dude. What's up, right. dude? Oh, you got the full white suit on yeah. and everything, looking crispy. <laughs> no, I got dirty keggies. I gotta go. I gotta move forward, I think. Hey, you guys got some rabbit bars? No. No, I got them at home, but I'm not selling them. Why not? Come on, Dennis, let's talk They're about rare. this. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk right, about I'll it. talk a bit. Alright, All right. <laughs> What up, dude? What's up, Capone? Yo, see you. We gotta roll down there. Racetrack, slow down! Dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's hell of people, dude. Holy shit. It's not even seven yet. It's barely six. Six, six. Yeah. yeah. And there's hella people out here already. This is our morning music. <laughs> oh yeah, we made it in. Oh, that's the van right there. The blue van. Oh yeah. That's what you win? Yeah. yeah. You win a love van. Oh dang. They got your help early. So this is the van that you you can win if you buy a twenty dollar raffle. Hmm. Ooh, I see some juicy parts. Some juicy parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's. Oh juicy. damn! Look at that popcorn. Popcorn? <gasps> they're throwing it oh, out. Oh, they're throwing it out. Yeah. This wow. Is, this is from the movie theater from the night before. Wow! What a waste. But I'll take them. I'll make it rain. Oh god! That, no, then all the birds are gonna come. Oh! Oh! He threw it away. Oh! oh popcorn. The popcorn. The popcorn. <laughs> Oh. Setting up our spot. Just got back to San Jose and let me show you guys what I got from the swap meet. I got these bars and these Moon Eyes wheel covers. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my shovel, see if I still got it. And of course, it's right here, collecting dust. Plan to uh, pull the motor, fix all the leaks, fix my timing, all that shit. I actually stripped my timing hole Timing hole bolt right here, trying to fix the um, my timing, and I fucked it up because I pulled in and out so many times that I stripped the bolt or stripped the hole. Got to fix that, and then while the motor is out, I'm gonna go with a hardtail kit. I'm planning to go with a V twin hardtail kit for big twins, and then these wheel covers will go on the back. But yeah, I'm excited to uh, start this project. Also, a little update on my shadow. As you guys know, before the trip, I went down to a 41 rear sprocket. But then I kept the uh, front sprocket at 16. That's the stock, uh, stock number. And if you guys haven't done this mod yet, I highly suggest you guys do that because it's a night and day difference on the freeway. I was able to keep up with the uh, the Hardy guys, the 1200s, and I was even uh, leading at um, some of the parts. When changing your rear sprocket, I recommend you guys replace your chain as well. Do it once and do it right. I'm actually looking for a new ship knob right now. If you guys know anybody selling a cool one, 
or a unique one or whatever, let me know. Send me a picture, I'll buy it off you guys. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with my bike, with the shadow. It ran perfectly fine during the trip, no hiccups. And yeah, these bars are clutch, man. Very clutch for the trip because I was able to strap down the uh, my blanket right here and then my camera pouch. And I like the position too. Yep, little wire tuck. I gotta clean my velocity stack. She's getting dirty. I'm thinking of changing the color. I'm thinking of changing it to like gunmetal or something a little bit darker. What do you guys think? Should I keep the red or change to a different color? Comment below, let me know. Also, some of you guys wanted to see more of the Z. So the past couple months, I didn't do much to it. I got this rear bumper from a friend of mine for a good price. And then I just mocked it up with some zip ties. But I don't think I'm gonna keep the, uh, the bumper because there's a lot of holes on this. Bunch of holes and I gotta, I don't wanna patch them up. So I'm thinking just gonna sell this bumper and then buy an aftermarket one with uh, with no holes. But yeah, not much done to the Z. That's pretty much it for my uh, my bikes. Shovel's getting a makeover soon. The shadow, maybe a color change, I don't know. Still deciding. So my fiance, Sheila, she's not digging this, uh, this seat setup. She's missing the king and queen seat that I had before. So I'm looking for a king and queen seat, a narrow one, similar to my old one. If you guys know anybody that makes them or you have a spare one, let me know. I'll buy it off you. Yeah, she missed the uh, king and queen because this one is kind of low. So when she's sitting in the back, right, she can't see the front view because my, my helmet is blocking her view. But with the king and queen before, I sat lower because there's no springs and then she was up higher. So her view was above my, my, uh, my helmet so she could see everything. And she liked the padding in, in the back too for the king and queen. This one is kind of rough as you can see. But yeah, let me know. If you got a king and queen seat for sale. I also got something pretty cool to show you guys. My buddy uh, Scott, Scott Campbell from Lake Tahoe sent me this uh, tool pouch that he made completely by hand. Everything was, uh, all the materials was uh, made in America. Pretty sick, pretty slick. Put our tools in here, a little zipper to hold your fuses or your registration paper or whatever you want to put in here. Put tools in here, fold it down, roll it up. Bam! Lane Split Boulevard. If you guys want one, um, comment below. Let's get a group buy going and we can go from there. So the tool bag is gonna be mounted right here. I'm gonna make a little bracket to hold the, uh, the bag. But yeah, that's it for today's video.